Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. It is Wednesday morning. We thank God for his faithfulness and his goodness for waking us up this morning in our right and sound mind. As we begin this day, I want us to look through the word of God. Psalm chapter 15. This working so strong to me this morning. I have been meditating on this word. And God wants me to share this word with every one of us. As you can see, the title says, A Biling Continuously in the Presence of God. I believe every one of us desire to have, to be in constant touch with God. You want to be connected to Jesus on a daily basis to where you know he's there, he's fed. Because yes, you can feel his presence. We have, we serve a God who you can touch. Amen. His presence is awesome. His presence helps us to be who he has called us to be. His presence as believers set us apart. But how can we carry this presence with us daily? Now we are saved. If you are not saved, I pray you will give your life to Jesus. But those of all who are saved, are you a body in the continual presence of God? Do you feel his presence? Let's look at the word of God this morning and see how can we abide in the continual presence of the Lord. The Bible says in Psalm 15 verse 1 to 5. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? There goes the answer. Those who lead a blameless life and do what is right. Speaking the truth from a sincere heart. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors. Or speak evil of their friends. Those who despise Franklin sentence and honor the faithful followers of the Lord and keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Such people will stand firm forever. Oh my God, this is so powerful. The Bible says, those who abide continually in the presence of God, those who carry the presence of God, those in whom God delights to abide with daily, you feel the same presence when you are at church where there is a move of the spirit. You can feel that presence in your home, in your daily life. The only way you can possess or have this kind of presence, the Bible says, people who live a blameless life. That tells me holiness is a must. If you want to abide continuously or carry the presence of God with you. And when the Bible says in the presence of God there is liberty. In the presence of God there is peace. In the presence of God there is fullness of joy. So we need this presence to navigate on this earth. But in order to have such a presence, the Bible requires us to live a blameless life. To do what is right even when it hurts, I love that word. Even when it hurts. Those who do not speak evil of their neighbors. Those who do not indulge in gossip. You don't speak evil of other people. You don't gossip about your neighbor. Those who do not take bribes. Those who do not compromise. Those who do not take advantage of the innocent. The Bible says such people. Will not be moved. They turn forever. Because why? They carry the presence of God. I pray this morning. May the presence of God. Abide with us forever. As we cultivate. This principle. The Lord bless you this morning. As you go about your day. May his presence carry you. 
May you take heed to his word. May you be mindful of what God is doing in the name of Jesus. I pray for those of you who are not saved this morning. That you will surrender your life to Jesus. You will give him your life. Hallelujah. Because the life we are living now, tomorrow is not promised. Only in Jesus we have hope. Receive the grace of God this morning. As you accept Jesus in your life and surrender to him. That you too can abide in his presence. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. Have a victorious day. Bye-bye.